Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you are doing well today. You better brace yourselves because today I've made something that I personally think is exceptionally neat and hopefully you will too. So what I have for you today is a fully functional on-screen typewriter slash keyboard. Now this is pretty cool by itself, but here's the thing, here's the thing that makes this especially cool. This thing right here is survivable. Okay, so let's give this guy a little whirl. Now you may be wondering what the significance of this being survivable is. Well, at first glance you may think that it was made with command blocks, but it wasn't. Okay, so here we have a full QWERTY keyboard as far as letters are concerned. I had to move the P down here just for symmetry's sake, but other than that, it looks as you'd expect. Okay, so you can control this with your hand or a bow. Let's use a bow first, just because it might look a little bit cooler. And let's type a word. How about we type out eat? So E up here, then an A, and then a T, and it'll all be typed out on the screen. So E, A, and T, eat. So that is definitely pretty neat. But let's type some more words. We can use our fist this time. And perhaps you can guess what I'm saying. So we're going to go with an S first. S for splendid. Then we're going to go for an A for apostrophe. And then we'll go for an R for repulsive. C for uh, circus. So we've got sock is the first word. Then we're going to have a space. This over here is a space, if you're curious. Sock. Then we're going to go for an I for ice cream. And then we're going to go for an S for sunny. Then we'll have another space over here. So sock is... Sock is what? What do you think I might think of myself? I would say we're going to go for another C for... O, I couldn't think of a C one. O for original. Another O, because apparently not. And then we will end it with an L for for lemon. That's right, guys. Sark is cool. Sark is cool. And this video is also very cool. Okay, guys, so that was the typewriter. Look at all that redstone behind there. This was my first redstone build in a really, really long time. But it's actually not that complicated. It's actually fairly straightforward. And I'm going to show you how each bit works, how they all interact with one another, and how we ended up with the typewriter. Okay, so what you're probably first wondering is how do I get the text to appear on the screen? Now, this is actually pretty simple. I made a video the other day, SMS Messages Minecraft Unions It. Maybe you did see it. Maybe you didn't pay attention. I don't know. Whatever the case, I'll explain it again. Basically, what we're doing is we're manipulating death messages. So... If one of your pets dies, you will receive a notification in your chat. And essentially, you can actually manipulate this to display custom text. And how do we do that? So we have a skeleton over here, and a skeleton has a renamed bow. So death messages actually have a few variables to them. So who died? The cat. Who killed them? The skeleton. And if applicable, what killed them? The renamed bow. So because the renamed bow is renamed, it will actually appear in the death message with its custom text. So it's as simple as that, and it's very, very cool. So let me show you this in action. So we've got the skeleton over here. We have a golem over here. When the piston goes down, he will see the golem, and he will try to kill it. But the cat is going to be in the way, so he's going to kill the cat instead, and it's going to be the message. Let's, let's see it. Okay, so we've got a cat there. Get rid of that. Cat gets shot, and we get a message that says, Cat was shot by skeleton's name using Q, which is his bow's name. Next, let's take a look at the buttons. So these are, of course, just banners. And behind them, there's a little secret button that we press. And once we press the button, a signal travels across this. Are these called buses? I never know if these are called buses, but I think they might be called buses. Or just a wire, I don't know. Let's call them buses, just because that sounds kind of cool. Technical. The buses lead to this thing, which is essentially an RS latch. And what the RS null latch is supposed to do is it's supposed to convert the button press signal into a permanent fixed signal. And the reason that we need to do that is because 
our rail system. So we basically needed a way to distribute many cats from a central location to their specific standing positions and then get shot in the face. And the way we did this is with activator rails. So all of these button presses, all these RS not latches are there so that we can actually turn on all of these uh, activator rails. So basically what happens, let's say we were to press Y, what's going to happen is it's going to go along the bus, it's going to hit the RS null latch, and it's going to turn this activator rail on permanently until a little bit later. So the reason that we're turning this activator rail on is because over here we have a central pool that's usually filled with cats, but they're dead because they were annoying me. And we have this minecart which transports them over to the activator rail. So we press this button, it goes to the activator rail, I think it was this one right here. And because that one's activated, it will actually deposit the cat to this location. Then what's going to happen is because the cat is now st standing there, this piston is going to retract and the skeleton is going to see the golem. So then the skeleton is going to shoot the cat and kill it. And then the cat is going to despawn because he is dead. And this uh, button will actually reverse the aerosol latch releasing it. Yeah. By the way, if you're curious why this command block is here when this is a survival creation, the only reason this guy is here is because there's currently a bug in the game where mobs do not get picked up by minecarts. So normally what would happen is there'd be a minecart here which would pick up the cats from this location. But because that's not working because of this silly little bug. See that guy will not get in that cart. You are supposed to get in that guy. Because that's not working I had to actually summon in the cat and the minecart. But under normal circumstances you wouldn't need that. But it's because of this silly silly little bug. Okay, in case you didn't understand what on earth I was talking about a moment ago, let me just demonstrate it. So if I press the T, like so, you'll see that the cat will appear there. He'll be deposited over here because the RSNL lets triggered it. The skeleton will see the golem in a moment. Sometimes it takes a few moments. He'll shoot the cat and we get uh, the letter that we want. Now, if you have a keen eye, you may have noticed that the letters on the right-hand side are actually a little bit faster than the left-hand side, which are the slowest. And the reason behind that is obviously because the cats take longer to get to the right-hand side because of the way we're using this. You probably could make that quicker if you just had all the cats in place, but I really did like the idea of having a distribution point so that when you need to refill it, you can just kind of do it from one central location. You know, I just had an idea. If someone smart enough came along, you could actually make like a randomly generated word generator in Survivor Redstone. That would be very, very neat. I think that's beyond my scope, but if someone made that, that would be very, very cool for like custom notifications. Wow. I wish I could do that. Um, but anyway, guys, I really, really do hope you enjoyed this creation. It was a lot of fun to make, and I think it's pretty dang cool. If you enjoyed, the like is, of course, always much appreciated. Subscribe, sir. That's, that's not going to work, is it? S, you subscribe. Subscribe to me. Sub. Have sub. <laughs> subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.